have not been to an opera. Like the saying, never judge a book by its cover. Look for the big purple building, you can't miss us. Sometimes the really quiet still make their mark. A mark Don Foster's made on Denton for more than three decades. Everybody has to keep up with him. He goes pretty much nonstop. Uh, he's here six days a week. He'll often choose to come in on his day off. Foster is the owner of Recycled Books, Records, and CDs. So that ought to get me through the month. Here, a constant changing collection of half a million books make it the largest used and rare bookstore in Texas. You can find stuff that I can't find anywhere else. That's part of the excitement in the store, seeing things yeah. never seen before. It's not very easy to find. <laughs> Under 10, I was collecting comic books and baseball cards, and then I went over to records and books. It was a dream in the back of my head that I would have my own store. I just kind of got lucky with, I, I married my ex-wife and she had the store and next thing I knew I was in it. I didn't marry her to get into the store. That wasn't the, re but that's how it worked out. And a family business. Both of my brothers work here as well. Uh, so it's <laughs> just uh, one of those things that was sort of bound to happen. My heart and soul is in the, in the store. Even though he hasn't physically traveled outside the state. Yeah, around the world and with the movies I watch. I mean, I'm, for instance, I'm in Korea a lot right now. Sometimes I'm in Scandinavia, you know, because I like Scandinavian movies. And while he isn't shy when it comes to his favorites. He'll, he'll follow the scenes. There's one thing Foster won't give up. <laughs> My age. <laughs> Reminding us. The smell of the books, the touch of the books, the whole tactile experience. There are some things that never get old. It's to where, you know, he, he, uh, he knows. Not quite everything, but uh, close. <laughs> In Denton, I'm Marty Glazer.